This is part 10 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different functions that are available to manipulate strings in JavaScript. So what's a string in JavaScript? A string in JavaScript is any text inside quotes. You can use either single or double quotes. In the first example here, we have a string in double quotes. And in the second example, we have a string in single quotes. Concatenating strings. There are two options to concatenate strings in JavaScript. You could either use plus operator or concat method. In this example, we are concatenating strings using the plus operator. We have two variables here, string1 and string2. String1 has the hello word and string2 has JavaScript word. And on the third line here, we are concatenating string1 with a single space string and that is being concatenated with string2 variable again using the plus operator. So the result is hello JavaScript with a single space between hello and JavaScript words. In this example here, we're concatenating strings using the concat method. Notice on string1 variable, we're calling the concat method and to concat method, we are passing two strings. The first string has a single space within it and the second string is string2 variable, which has JavaScript word. So the result of this is hello JavaScript with a single space between hello and JavaScript words. In this example, notice we are passing two strings to the concat method. You can pass as many strings as you want to the concat method. Let's look at an example. So at the moment, to this concat method, this is one string and this is another string. So we are passing two strings. Let's pass another string. So I'm going to pass a string with spaces on either sides and then I'm going to have this word hello and then let's pass another string world. So now at the moment we are passing one, two, three and four strings to the concat method. So when we you know run this we should actually have five strings that is string one, a single space, string two and then the hello word and then the world word. So when we run this, we should get hello JavaScript and hello world. Now, there may be times when you need single quotes inside a string within your output. For example, we want the output to be like this, welcome to JavaScript training, but then the JavaScript word should be present inside single quotes like this. Okay, but remember, single quote has a special meaning that indicates, you know, the beginning and end of a string. But strings in JavaScript can be present either inside double quotes or inside single quotes. Now, if you want quotes inside your strings in the output, there are two options for you. Option one is place the entire string in double quotes like this. Okay, so in this string, the beginning of the string is indicated by this double quote and the end of the string is indicated by this double quote. So you can use single quotes within the string wherever you want. So this is going to produce this output. So it, the JavaScript word is now present inside single quotes. Okay, so that's one option. The other option is if you want to place your entire string inside single quotes, you know, maybe because that's your coding practice or standard within your organization. But then if you just use a single quote without this backslash, then JavaScript is going to treat that, you know, as, you know, a character which indicates the end of the string. But that's not what we want. We want that single quote to be part of the string itself. So that's why we use the escape sequence character the backslash, you know, just like C-sharp, even in JavaScript, the escape sequence character is backslash. So when you use backslash single quote, then JavaScript knows that you want that character to be treated as, you know, part of the string and not to use that to indicate the end of the string. Okay, so notice that here we have again backslash and single quote. And then finally, this single quote here is going to indicate the end of that string. So the result is welcome to JavaScript training. Now you can use these two approaches if you need double quotes instead of single quotes inside your string. For example, if you want this JavaScript word to be present inside double quotes, then you know you can use either this option or this option again. Converting a string to an uppercase. This is straightforward 
all you need to do is use the two uppercase method. So here we have a variable uppercase string and at the moment it has this string within it, JavaScript with small and uppercase letters. When you call two uppercase, it's going to convert all the letters to uppercase and this is uh, how the output will be. And if you want to convert a string to a lowercase, use two lowercase method and the output is here. And if you want to find the length of a string, that is the number of characters that are present inside a string, in JavaScript we have the length property. So in the first example here, on the string itself, we are calling the length property and that's going to give us 10 because there are 10 characters in the word JavaScript. Here, we are storing this string inside a variable and on the variable we are calling the length property. So within this string here, we've got 16 characters and that's what is the output. Removing white spaces from both ends of a string and to do that use the trim method. So if you look the example here, we've got two variables, string1, string2. String1 has a, b and notice that we have a white space at the beginning and at the end of the string. The same is the case with string2. Now on the third line we are calling the trim method on string1 variable. So what is this trim method going to do? It's going to knock off the white space that is present at the beginning and at the end of the string. So a b without a space, that's what this will achieve. And then we are using the concatenation operator that is plus. And then on string2 we are calling the trim method again. So this method is going to remove the white spaces on either sides of string2. So the result is we will get A, B, C, D without white space, you know, on either sides and between A, B and C, D. Replacing strings in JavaScript. Use replace method. This method searches a given string for a specified value or a regular expression and then replaces the specified value with the replacement value and returns a new string. This method does not change the original string. So if you look at the example here, in my string variable, we have hello JavaScript. Now what we want to do is we want to replace this JavaScript word with hello, uh, I mean world word. So on my string variable, we are calling the replace method. So this is the word, the first parameter is the word that we want to replace. And the second parameter is the replacement value. So in place of JavaScript, we want world. So when we run this, we get the result as hello world. So here we are using a specified value. Instead of this, you can also use a regular expression. So let's now look at an example of using regular expressions. So now in this example here, we are performing a case sensitive global replacement. What do we mean by global replacement? In the entire string, you know, wherever you find this word blue, replace that with this word green. Okay, now here we have some strange characters that is forward slash forward slash. So the first thing that comes to our mind is why is this word blue present between two forward slashes? Basically we use those forward slashes to specify you know whatever we have between those forward slashes is a regular expression. So basically we are telling here we want to find this word blue in this string. And then notice that after this forward slash, we have this letter G. This letter G indicates global replacement. So in that entire string, wherever you find the word blue, replace that with this word green. Now look at the result. So the source string is this one. A blue bottle with a blue liquid is on a blue table. Okay. Now the difference between this word blue and the rest of the two you know, words blue is this blue has a capital letter B in it. And if you look at the result, that blue is not replaced with this word green because this replacement is a case sensitive replacement. Okay, that's why that word is not replaced, but the other instances of blue are replaced with this replacement string green. So the result is a blue bottle with a green liquid is on green table. Now, if you want to perform a case insensitive replacement, we have the exact same regular expression except that we also have this letter I which indicates case insensitive global replacement. So now the output is a green bottle with a green liquid is on a green table. 
Thank you for listening and have a great day.